What is up guys Vimal here and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be absolutely awesome so the thing is festive season is right around the corner right lot of people keep looking to buy brand new tv for their home and you people came to the right video today we have a very special tv to unbox and special thing about this particular model is it's a qled 4k tv on budget so you guys know right qled stands for quantum dot led tv and qled tvs offer like far superior performance than your regular ips or va panel TVs. So this particular TV is made by Thompson model is Phoenix series they've launched like different sizes 50 55 inches 65 inches also and starting price of this particular TV is only around like 33900 rupees packs like plenty of features as you can see supports Dolby Vision Dolby Atmos DTS True Sound is also there it's Google TV so everything is like up to date out of the box so I'm like pretty excited to see what this TV has to offer without wasting any more time let's get started with the unboxing so our brand new QLED TV from Thomson came in this sort of box packaging. So Thomson's Phoenix series TVs were actually launched in three different sizes. Today we have the 55 inch variant. And as you can see on the front, you've got the Thomson branding over here. It says Google TV and supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, DTS True Sound is also there and HDR 10 plus support is also available. Main highlight of this TV, as I've told you, is QLED technology guys, quantum dot LED display. So I'm like pretty excited to unbox and see how this TV performs. So let me just quickly grab my knife and cut this tape and there was no way I could do the unboxing alone that's why I asked my dad to join me for the video. So as soon as you open it at the top we've got some of its accessories. So these are the TV stands guys good quality stands made of metal and looks like this is your wall mounting bracket that is also included over here only and you also have a packet of accessories over here let me just open it and show you what do we have on the inside. You get some paperwork and this one is your TV remote. Pretty decent looking design, smart remote as usual, Google Assistant is also available. And lastly you get some AAA batteries for the remote and 3.5mm to RCA cable. That's it, these are all the items you got in the package. Now let's finally take the TV out of the package and check out the model. So guys, as I've told you, Thomson's Phoenix series TV is something pretty exciting. QLED TV at an affordable price. And boy, oh boy, I have to say TV is like quite heavy in the hand. And there you go. This is how the back of the TV looks like. Very decent and minimalistic design at the backside. Quite hefty build quality I can say. We'll talk about the design and build quality in a moment. And looks like main squad is also detachable. That is one good thing. So I'll just give you a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports and all that stuff in a moment. But before that, let me turn it around and show you the front side. There you go. This is how the TV looks like. Wow. TV looks quite beautiful, right? Nearly bezel-less experience actually. It's got air slim design. That is what the company is calling it as. So on the bottom, as usual, you've got stereo speakers powered by Dolby Atmos guys and can produce around 40 watts of audio. So that's it, our quick unboxing and first look at this QLED TV from the brand. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly fix these TV stands on the bottom and use it for some days and then be right back to continue the video. So guys, I'm back to continue the video. I've been using this TV for the last few days and now I'll be sharing my complete experience and feedback on it. We'll be talking about both the pros and cons. So make sure to watch this video till the end because there is a lot I have to talk about. First of all, let's talk about the design and the build quality. So as you can see, Thompson's Phoenix series TV comes with an air slim design. That is what the brand is calling it as. And it's got like a nearly bezel-less experience, especially on the top three sides. On the bottom, you do have a bit of bezel guys, but again, it's not much arguable at this price point. At the center you've got the Thomson logo over here followed by a tiny status LED indicator and that is pretty much it. Talking about the stands, quality of the stands is also pretty nice made of metal and definitely give you that premium sort of feel. Having a side profile of the TV here's how it looks like. I can surely say it's not the slimmest TV we've seen in the recent times but I have to say built quality of the TV is very nice. It's like a mix between metal and polycarbonate and definitely gives you premium sort of look and feel at this price point. And here's how the TV looks from the backside. Very class and minimalistic design. 70% metal, 30% polycarbonate. Uh, let me just give you a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports on it. On the left, you've got the AC port. This is where you'll be connecting the main score to power on the TV. And on the other side is where you've got all your connectivity ports. There's a AV in port available. RF in is there. Two USB ports to connect some pen drives. Three HDMI ports are available. One of them supports ARC as well. Optical in is also there and lastly a LAN port for the Ethernet. 
So that was our complete overview on the design and build quality part. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a closer look at the software UI and we'll talk about the Google TV operating system and also the built-in apps and features. So as I've told you at the beginning guys, Thomson's Phoenix series TV is actually available in three different sizes. You have 50 inches, 55 inches and 65 inches. We have the 55 inch variant and pricing of this TV starts at only around like 33,900 guys. I don't know how the brand managed to pull off a QLED TV at such an affordable price and let me tell you QLED TVs are like far more superior than your standard IPS or even like VA panel TVs guys they've got like excellent color performance and color accuracy we'll talk about that when we come to the display section anyways this is how the home screen on the TV looks like and as I've told you guys it's powered by Google TV Google TV is slightly different to your regular Android TV operating system and you know it's much more refined I feel all of these 2022 TVs which are launching are coming with Google TV UI and OS only and it runs on Android version 11 out of the box. So UI is pretty similar guys. Uh, you've got the for you section where it shows you personalized section of different sort of content like movies and all that. Going down you've got your app list over here, Netflix, Disney Plus Hotstar, Prime Video, all of these came like pre-installed on it. So that is a very good thing. Uh, and going to the top, you've got like different sections over here, categories. You've got your movie section available, shows are there, and this is your app section. From here, you can download all your favorite OTT related apps or maybe any sort of games, anything guys, and enjoy it on this TV. Now, if you talk about the specifications of this TV, so it's powered by a MediaTek uh, CPU and has like 2 GB RAM and 16 GB of onboard storage and supports like Bluetooth version 5.0, dual band Wi-Fi support is also there and casting, wireless casting support is also built in. So let me just quickly open up the settings page and show you what's available on this TV. Plenty of settings available guys, especially in the display and sound section, right? You've got plenty of picture settings and sound settings available. You've got a couple of different picture modes, standard, vivid, game mode is also available and everything is adjustable and customizable as per your requirement. You can adjust the backlighting, brightness, contrast level, saturation, and in the advanced settings, you can even, uh, you know, tweak your noise reduction settings and these sort of stuff. And same was the case with sound settings and since the TV also supports like Dolby Audio support, right, you can even enable Dolby Audio on this thing. And as I've already told you, storage 16 GB is there on board and out of that 11 GB is available like out of the box. You can easily install a couple of games like Asphalt and, you know, play a couple of games also on this TV, not an issue at all. Let's talk about the performance and day-to-day -day usage of this TV. Thomson's Phoenix series TVs were doing a very good job and I didn't face any sorts of lags or stutters while using it guys. For example, if I'm just browsing through the content on the home screen, right? As you can see, everything is like so smooth and flawless. Even if I try to open any sort of apps or OTT related platforms, right? I didn't face any sorts of lags or stutters. Performance of this TV was like very good guys. You'll be like quite happy and satisfied over here. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly open up YouTube, play some videos of mine and then we'll talk about the TV's performance and discuss about display quality and sound performance as well. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. First of all, Jay Hind guys, wishing you all a very happy Independence Day. And for this occasion, I have like a very special laptop to unbox and show it to you people in this video. And this one is from Indianware. <laughs> Vishal from Futech and he is the man behind this store, right? The owner, Mr. Vikas. Okay, you guys saw those demos, right? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you would ask me, display quality on this TV is like actually impressive at this price point, guys. All thanks to that QLED panel. And you people know, right? QLED stands for quantum light emitting diode. And QLED panels are like far superior than your traditional IPS or VA panels. And that is because, say, in front of your regular LED backlighting, on QLED TVs, you have a special quantum dot layer. And when light falls on this quantum dot layer, it's got like micro 
microscopic nanoparticles called as quantum dots. Quantum dots react to this light and produce like strikingly vivid colors. And because of that, on QLED panels, you have like far superior color performance and color accuracy than your regular panels. And this makes like a big difference, guys. You can immediately notice that difference on QLED TVs. And you're getting QLED TV at such an affordable price. I don't know how the brand actually pulled it off. And coming to the display quality, as I've told you, it's a 4K resolution TV. And there's nothing less you can expect over here. There's good amount of detail. Everything looks like crisp and clear, guys. And no matter what sort of content you watch on it, right, you'll be like quite content and happy with the results. I have viewed like different sort of media, like, you know, Netflix movies and web series and was like quite happy with the results. Talking about the colors, color performance was also very nice, all thanks to that panel. It was producing like accurate and rich colors, guys, and was like much better than your regular V or IPS panel TVs. And talking about the white balance, color accuracy, everything were like on point. Contrast levels were also nice, but black levels were not as good as an OLED panel. Again, at this price point, you can't complain much. And talking about the brightness, brightness was also like quite sufficient. It was around like 550 nits, guys. But I do have to mention, if you're viewing this TV in like really bright environment, you got lots of light sources and windows in your room, there it might be a bit difficult, guys. And also, if you've observed, I felt the panel was slightly a bit reflective. And you know, if you've got lots of windows in your room or maybe in your living room, right, there it might be a bit difficult. So you'll have to keep these points in mind. That's it. Apart from that, overall TV performance was pretty good. And wait a second, let me tell you about the audio quality as well. Thompson's Phoenix series come with like stereo down firing speakers powered by Dolby Audio and can produce around 40 watts of output. And audio quality was good. It was producing like crisp and clear sound with good clarity and distortion also quite minimum even if you go up to like 75-80% of the volume as well. In fact, if you are like on a tight budget and you don't have like extra money to spend on a soundbar, you don't need that. This is like more than enough guys. At the moment, it will get your job done. But again, don't don't expect like home theater or dedicated sound bar level of performance over here huh? if you're looking for that premium sort of uh, rich sound experience then you'll definitely need to attach like a dedicated audio setup then only you'll get to experience like home theater feel at your home I haven't shown you the TV remote, right? This is how the remote looks like. Very class, minimalistic design, guys. As usual, smart remote. You have all your basic necessities available, including hotkeys for OTT platforms like YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video. And best thing is there's like a customizable shortcut button. You can assign this button to any of your favorite app. And once you do that, you can just toggle to that just by pressing this button. And on top of that, as I've told you, it's a smart TV, Google TV. So obviously you have Google Assistant support remote also has like a microphone on board you just need to press this google assistant button ask your question and tv will display your results let's quickly put that to a test what's the weather right now currently in secunderabad it's 23 degrees with light drizzle today there will be thunderstorms with a four so that's it, our video on Thomson's all new Phoenix series 4K QLED TVs. I'll really have to appreciate the brand for offering QLED panel at such an affordable price, guys. And I'm telling you, right, you'll be like super happy with this display and you'll enjoy watching movies or web series on it. That is what I can surely say. Good design and build quality also, lots of features, Google TV operating system, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos is also there and lots of apps to download and choose from. Only thing I felt is it doesn't have any gaming related features. I didn't find MEMC support, VRR is also not there and there is no free sync or these sort of stuff. Again, it's a very affordable TV so you can't complain much as well. And talking about the pricing, the 50 inch variant of this TV price starts at only 33,900 rupees and our 55 inch variant costs around 40,900 rupees. I'll leave links to them in the description box below, you can check it out there. So that's it, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to know everything about this model and make sure to smash smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.